Right, and we are golden. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Uh, it's been about a week since the last time I recorded, and a lot has happened in that week. Uh, we had two new champion reveals for Legends of Runeterra. Um, I have purposefully not watched any um, other players um, revealing this, taking, uh, giving their thoughts and whatnot, because I wanted to go into this blind. I know who they are. It's LOA and Bard. Um, but I don't know what they do yet. So today we're just going to go into Illoi, or Illoe, or however her name is pronounced, and see what she's all about. I know she's from Bilgewater, I know she has some ties to some sunken god. So, sounds good to me. I mean, I'm all about uh, the whole um, elder god, uh, cosmic horror stuff, so this is kind of right up my alley. So let's see how she is. So let's hop on over. All right, all right. Here we are. The Eli reveal. Let's see what they have to say about her. Life is too short for fear. All right. Fortune favors the bold. Yeah, there's a big focus on uh, Path of Champions uh, this coming patch, which drops on the 25th, by the way. So get ready for that. Okay, so Illi, she's a 4 mana 1 6 with Overwhelm. Attack spawn 1, then I gain power equal to your strongest tentacles power this round. So I know spawn is, is related to tentacles. Like they, the spawn is creating these tentacles. So, so this is her, her whole kit is summoning tentacles from the deep and smashing face with them. All right, there it is. Okay, so here we are. Spawn, summon a 1-1 one, one tentacle, or if you already have one, give it plus and plus one for each spawn. So you're not going to be summoning many tentacles, you're gonna be summoning one big tentacle to smash down with. And this spell, tentacle smash, four mana. It is a slow spell. Spawn three, so you're gonna be making a three, three or bigger tentacle. Then your strongest tentacle and an enemy strike each other. That's pretty cool. I like that because um, Bilgewater doesn't have a whole lot of um, strike abilities. It's like there's there's Pike's um, uh, Pike that he throws, um, but I think that might be it inside of um, inside of Bilgewater. So this is some nice utility. I like this. Okay, pick an enemy. Oh, that is some sick animation. I like that. Okay. Look and see the glory of All right, what's this? Oh, okay, this is a new star power. So this is for if you're playing her in Path of Champions. Prophet of an Elder God. When allies attack, spawn one. Okay, that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I like it. Now, star powers, are these replacing relics? Is that what that is? If so, that's pretty damn strong. By my honor, you must die. Oh, Fiora. I wish you were still good. Protection takes many forms. Pump pump. When the water is still, you must make waves. Uru leader. Oh, that is a dope animation. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gushing over the animation. I need to actually read the card. Four mana, two, seven. So she gets a plus one, plus one. Still has overwhelm. When you spawn, increase its value by one. Oh, that's that's great. I like that. Attack, spawn one, then fully heal your strongest tentacle. And I gain, st I gain stats equal to its stats this round. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're going going to need hard removal for her. She's gonna get too damn big. So let's see. Attack spawn one, then fully heal your strongest tentacle, and I gain stats equal to its stats this round. So she just grows, not to the size of the tentacle, but by the tentacle size. So two seven plus like five five or six six or whatever. That is strong. I like her a lot. 
And she has like a, a big backside, which kind of makes me want to play her with um, um, like Soraka uh, for healing or um, uh, play her in Demacia for uh, Formidable. Because there is that one um, support character that gives other characters Formidable until end of turn while they're, while they're supported. There's a couple of possibilities. I like that. I think I'm gonna be brewing with this girl. She she is good. Alright, we got a 9-2. Fully heal. Give the stats. Oh. That's huge. Oh, okay. Okay, so that answers my question. The the relics are still here. So the star power is something else. That might be like the power that you get like as you're going through the, the map. Green Glade Shade League. Grant my supported ally elusive. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I'm glad that's just for Path the Champions. Alright, and she gives the elusive. So the tentacle just smashes through. Oh, what's this? Lago Cabulos. Oh, so that, that's her god. 8 mana, 5, 8, fearsome. Round start, spawn 2. Then, if your strongest tentacle has 12 plus power, create a Lago Cabulos tantrum in hand. Okay, so it doesn't do anything when you first play it, but on the, uh, on the next turn, if it survives this round, then it starts going crazy. Uh, tantrum, Lago Cabulos, starts a free attack with 4 tentacles. And its tentacles, a 1-1-1 one, one, one with ephemeral. When I'm summoned, grow my stats to that of your strongest tentacle and grant me its keywords. Interesting. Very interesting. So it, it summons four of those, and you just go, go hog wild with it. Grow my stats to that of your strongest tentacle and grant me its keywords. Oh boy. So if you have one that has like overwhelm or fearsome, it gets all of those. Oh boy. That's good. Alright, are we going to see it in action? Oh, that's cool. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. If you look closely at this right here, this... They've taken a page out of Hearthstone's Colossals with the artwork. It What you're seeing across the five cards is the full artwork of the Naga Kabudos. That's really cool. I like that a lot. So, judging off of what I see on these cards here, it looks like um, Illwise Tentacle that she summons with Spawn does not have Ephemeral. But these ones that come off of Nagagabodos do have Ephemeral. So, that kind of answers another question that I had. I was curious if the Tentacle had Ephemeral because then it would just kind of be like a different version of Viego's Encroaching Mists. So that that's kind of cool. It like, gives you an ability to just go really tall and grant a bunch of keywords to your tentacle. I like that. If that's the case, then that could be a good um, a good case point for pairing her with Sharima for all of the uh, relics. Ah, that's big damage. Okay, do we see all the? Okay, so we we didn't read Boo Boo Leader. It's a three mana three two playing. A one-cost ally starts a free attack. That's pretty good when you consider that the tentacles are one-cost allies. Not too bad. Yeah, so he just comes in and says, Tentacle, get in there and fucking smash something. Uh, answered prayer, spawn two or spend five mana to spawn four. I like that. That's nice. I have Nagakabudos. Spawn two, draw two. Good, good. All right, cool. Yeah, that's a that's a strong kit. I like that a lot. Very cool. Okay, all right. So that is what we can expect from Illwai. I did not hear her name properly pronounced in the video, so I'm just going to continue saying Illwai until someone corrects me on that. But anyways, so that was uh, Illwai for her reveal. Um, my initial thoughts is strong, very strong. I, I want to try and pair her with either Sharima, uh, Noxus, or even Shadow Owls, honestly. 
Like you can probably put put her in shadow isles because those those tentacles get huge, and you can toss them with atrocity for uh, to go over the opponent and just smash the face in. So that would be really fun. Um, Demacia is another strong uh, pairing for her because of uh, formidable synergies because she has a very large back end. Um, even what is it? Um, Targon. Targon's a great pairing for her. Um, because there's there's ways to grant um, overwhelm. Uh, there are stun effects in Targon. There are all kinds of like just mid range support tools in Targon. So Targon might be a great place for her to sit. So I, I'm kind of I'm kind of looking at Demacia, Noxus, Targon as possibilities for LOI. So yeah, that's gonna be uh, today's video. I just wanted to take a quick look. I'll look at Bard in another video. So look forward to that. Uh, if you guys have any uh, questions for me, if you want to see similar stuff to this, or if you have any suggestions, follow me and just drop a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Anyways, take care. Have a good night.